it's book unhaul time i'm unhauling the shatter me series hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel and today i'm showing all of the books that i'm unhauling which is this ginormous stack right here next to me 50 books i don't know well a lot of these only reason i'm unhauling them is just because i don't think i'm gonna read them but there's nothing wrong with them so let me know if i should keep any of them that i'm getting rid of but even though i want my shelves to be super full i don't want to keep books that i don't like one because it makes my eye twitch when i'm looking at them and two someone else might enjoy them and they can have it on their shelf and enjoy it so no point in me keeping it or i can just donate it to someone else so let's get started <laughs> should we do my most controversial no i'll save those for later i think i'm just gonna go and stacks that I'm getting rid of. First stack, we have The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware, and I actually bought this when I first got into reading. Obviously never read it. I don't think I ever will read it. I'm not really into thrillers, so. Next, I have Playing Out by L.M. Reed. Read the back, not very interested. Next, I have The Art of Racing in the Rain. This is, again, one of the first books I bought when I got into reading. Clearly, I didn't know my reading taste back then, but I won't be reading because I don't want to cry. I know this book is sad, I'm pretty sure. Next, Charming as a Verb by Ben Felipe. Again, I just read the back and it doesn't seem like something I'm interested in, and I read a few pages. I didn't really like the writing style. Um, next, I have The Layover by Lacey Walden. I started reading this and I got so bored. This was so boring, but the guy's like a pilot. She's like a flight attendant, but she's also like in a relationship. I don't know, but I didn't get far, so I really couldn't, couldn't tell you. Next two, I have The Kisses and Croissants by Anne Sophie. And the only reason I bought this book was because she was a ballerina. Upon further conclusions, it's not going to be for me. Thank you. Next, I have Just Haven't Met You Yet by Sophie Cousins. My friend Melody read this and she didn't like it and we have pretty similar reading tastes. So. Next, I have The Goldfinch by Donna Tarr. I'm honestly terrified of this book and every time I look at it on my shelf, it reminds me that I actually can't read because I don't think I could get through this book. But I... Next, I have November 9th by Colleen Hoover. I never read this book. I never will read it. I have, like, spoiled the entire thing for myself. Absolutely not. No. Um, this is a self-help book with poems. I'm not keeping this. Next, I have My Year of Rest and Relaxation. Um, no. I just, no. Thank you. I heard that she, like, does something to a picture or, like, in a museum, and I really don't want to read that. Next, I have It's Kind of a Funny Story, which again was one of like the first books I bought when I got into reading. And then Mosquito Land. This is a coming of age book that I just don't think I'll really read. And then there's just other things I would rather read and I wouldn't pick this up for a very long time so someone else can enjoy it. Tracy Flick Can't Win by Tom Perota. I honestly don't know where I got this book from, but I won't be reading it, so. Should we do my most controversial? No, I'll save those for later. But I'll, I'll put them back here for now. <laughs> and then I got It Happened One Summer and Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. I started reading It Happened One Summer, and I didn't like the girl at all. She was kind of insufferable, and I really like to hate on the female main characters because I feel like they already get so much hate, and they're judged a lot harder than the guys. I just couldn't stand her. She was really, really, really out of touch with reality, and I'm sure that her character development grew on from there, but I honestly could not wait another 100 pages and be in her head like that. And then Hook, Line, and Sinker, um, I don't know. I just don't think if I liked the first one, I wouldn't like the second one. I know people said that the second one is better. Also, people said that the second one wasn't. So I don't really know. I'm not going to read them, though. Someone else can enjoy them. Then I have The Atlas Six with an extra copy of the original covers. I have Kiss the Sky. I have this cover of Kiss the Sky over with my addicted books i don't know where i accumulate these from tell me why i have two of these i don't know next i have the inheritance games again controversial but i read a few pages i think i actually read up to chapter 12 I didn't really enjoy it it was okay but i was just kind of expecting more because i like overhyped it in my own head found out who she was with and then i didn't understand the purpose of it being a love triangle because it made sense from the beginning i don't know it's not really for me and then i have daughter of the pirate king by trisha levenseller I feel like if I was into YA fantasy, I'd actually really like this, but I'm just not really into YA fantasy. I think if I read this back when I first got into fantasy, I would have really liked it, but now that I'm kind of already into it, I just don't think this would be a favorite of mine, so. Another lovely stack of rom-coms going away. I have Now That I Found You by Christina Forrest, Hook of Dilemma by Constance Gillum, Too Good To Be Real by Melanie Johnson, and then Romance Book Club and The Undercover Romance by Lissa K. Adams. They're all just ones that I never read, so. I'm not gonna keep them. Um, Diary of an Oxygen Thief. Apparently this is just about a guy saying that he wants to do bad things to women, so I don't want to read that. 
There's a stack of hardcovers. This is The Last Affair by John Searless. Poster Girl by Veronica Roth. Harley Quinn Reckoning by Rachel Allen. These are all just books that I just don't think I would ever read, so. Oh, jeez. Oh, they just keep coming. Next stack, Crazy Rich Asians, China Rich Girlfriend, and American Fuji. I just don't think I'm going to read these, so they're going away. Next, I have Josh and Hazel's Guide to Dating by Christina Lauren. I hated this book. I read this book last year, and I hated every single part of it. I was so annoyed the entire time. Next stack. Both die at the end. Will never read. Oh, that point blank range. Will never read. Someone Exactly Like Me by Debbie Cromack. I did read. I got like 75% into it, and then I DNF'd. I didn't really like the writing, and it was just really boring. And then after I do my Taylor Jenkins read, I actually have the other cover of this book, and I don't like this cover, so I technically still have on my shelf. Next stack, Fifty Shades Freed, never read this, don't know why I have it. The Great Gatsby, will never read. The Selection, will never read. Looking for Alaska, large print edition of the normal edition. So this one, I don't know how I got this. White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I kind of wanted to keep this book. I don't think I'd really like it, but I loved I Kiss Share Wheeler, but also I don't really want to read about US and British altercations and relations in a book, so. And I have Second First Impressions by Sally Thorne. Will not read this book. Oh, I dropped one. Okay. Next stack of hardcovers. I have Night Crawling by Leah Motley. The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. And Lucky Caller by Emma Mills. So I just don't think I'll ever read. Lucky Caller, I have the paperback on my shelf, so I'm getting rid of the hardcover. Next stack of hardcovers. I have Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. Such of Darkness by Chris. Dina Dodd and True Loves by Elise Bryant. I just, I just don't think I'll ever read any of these, so here we go. I'm unhauling the Shatter Me series, including the novellas. Um, I read up to Ignite Me and I didn't like it. I don't know what it is with this series. I know that a lot of other people like it and I can see why. I don't really like it, so I don't want to keep reading it. And I tried. I read the first trilogy, so I'm not keeping them because I know that someone else would much, much rather have them than me. And then I have Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reads. Same thing. I have the other cover over there, so I'm not going to keep this one. Next is Confessed by Colleen Hoover. I read this last year. I'm never going to reread this. It was okay. It was really boring though. I think like the best part of this book was the artwork. So the concept of the confessions in the artwork is cool, but it was okay. Next I have Kings of Corium. No, thank you. And next I have the Harley Quinn and the Derange. Der -derange. I'm going to get the book eyes over. This series pains me to get rid of. This is the Love and Gelato series with like Love and Gelato, Love and Luck, Love and Olives. This is one of the first series that I bought from Barnes and Nobles when I realized that like I really enjoyed reading. Getting rid of the series feels like I'm getting rid of a piece of my past reading self, even though I never read them. I just bought them. <laughs> so I don't know what it is, but I have like a severe attachment to the series. Maybe at a later date, I'll have a random urge to read these again, but I have to get rid of them because they're just collecting dust on my shelf. And then I have One of Us is Lying. I can't Karen M. McManus, and I just don't think I'd ever read this. Maybe I'll just cheat and only watch the show, even though I know you're supposed to read the book first. I just... Next I have Celeste by Sandy Robson. I just won't ever read this. Next I have Paper Towns by John Green. I have the paperback, so I don't need the hardcover. Same thing with Malibu Rising. I have so many alternate covers of Taylor Jenkins read books. I'll never understand, but I have the paperback of this, so I'm getting rid of the hardcover. I did actually start this book, and it was really good, so I'm excited to pick it back up, but it's just winter right now, and look at the cover. I'm gonna read about people in the summer. Second to last stack, I have All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Um, I think this is oh I think this is really sad I just don't think I'm ever gonna read it and then I have Mapping Bones by Jane Yolen and again this is I know that this is super sad and I also won't read it and then I have One Lucky Summer by Jenny Oliver I won't read it and I have Throw Like a Girl by Sarah Henning I won't read it final final stack the last three of today's unhauling video. I have The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. I don't think I'd like this book at all if I'm being completely honest. This is not even like, oh, I just don't think I'll ever get around to reading it. I just, I know that I wouldn't like this book, so I'm not gonna read it. And then I have The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. I actually kind of wanted to read this book at one point, but I don't think I'd like it. And then I have Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey. I just don't think I'll be a fan of Tessa Bailey's writing. I just don't think I'd really enjoy it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one as well. I should have been counting. Let me count real quick how many I have. 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 9, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Actually, I lied. A grand total of 77 books I got rid of today. So, that concludes today's massive book unhauling. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Or, I'll see you guys next, until next time. Until next time. Bye!